Hello there, all you visionary people. This is RedSpark, and in this visionary tutorial, I will show you how to create a basic first-person perspective adventure game. Now, the difference between a first-person perspective and a regular point-and-click adventure game actually is fairly minimal. Believe it or not, it's just your graphics and some fancy way of displaying them to make it look like you're changing directions. In this first video, we will get all the initial elements of the game created so that we can focus later on the scenes. So with that in mind, let's get started. As you can see, I already have my game created. I'm reusing the graphics from the online template of the first person perspective that you can find in the Visionaire website. The link will be in the description below. However, because the template contains more than just how to implement the first-person viewpoint, I wanted to make this video to concentrate on that and to show you a more streamlined approach. So, the first thing we want to do is set our resolution to 800 by 600 because that's the dimensions of our room graphics. For now, this is the only setting we need to change. Next, go to the cursor section so that we can define our cursors. We will need a cursor for each one of our directions, left, right, forward, backward, and we'll need a normal cursor as well. Let's start with the left turn cursor. Add a frame and select the cursor's image file. Since these cursors will only be displayed when the mouse is within a hotspot, that means we really only have to define the active images for each direction. The inactive one will never be used. Each of the other directions are defined the exact same way, so I'll speed through defining them. With the normal cursor, however, we do need to put in an active and an inactive image. This will allow us to use that cursor to hover over characters or objects. Now that our cursors are all created, we need to create a mouse interface. Click the Interface section icon. Then create an interface and call it mouse. Then create a button and call it cursor. After that, down under the button properties, change the button type to a command button. Change to the command properties tab and change the cursor to the normal cursor. And we want to use the normal cursor with objects and characters. That's all we need to do for the mouse interface. Our final step is to create a character. Change to the Character tab. Add a new character and call it Controller. We don't need to add any graphics for the character, but we do need to associate the mouse interface with the character. So let's do that. And now our character is done. Let's go back to the game settings and set the active character to the one we just created. Now that our initial setup is done, I'll see you in the next video where we create our scenes.